Hi, and welcome back. So as a baby boomer, or now even as a Gen Xer, dementia is very often perceived as an inevitable consequence of the aging process, but it can be significantly mitigated through targeted lifestyle adjustments. Recent insights suggest that up to 40% of dementia cases can be delayed or even prevented by adopting certain habits earlier in your life, but it's never too late to start. Presently, there are 12 modifiable risk factors that correlate with heightened dementia risk. By proactively addressing these factors, you can exert substantial influence on your brain health and also on your overall well-being, thereby diminishing the likelihood of developing dementia now or even in our later years. The following six lifestyle changes are particularly crucial for safeguarding our brain health. First is to embrace good nutrition. Nutrition plays a pivotal role in brain health due to its disproportionate energy consumption. Around 20% of daily energy is dedicated to brain function, despite the brain comprising of only 2% of our body weight. A balanced diet not only helps maintain healthy body weight, it also reduces diabetes risk, both of which are linked to dementia. A nutritional diet may also mitigate against hypertension, another significant dementia risk. Whole food, Mediterranean type diets, rich in whole grains, vegetables, fruits, especially in berries, lean meats, nuts, beans, and oily fish has been consistently associated with enhanced brain function and reduced dementia risk. Limiting your intake of ultra processed foods, pastries, sweets, sugary drinks, and foods fried in seed oils will further support your healthy brain with dietary improvements generally preferred over reliance on supplements and drugs. This is unless you need it to address a specific nutrient deficiency. Next is ensuring you have adequate hydration. Given our bodies are predominantly composed of water, approximately 60%, maintaining proper hydration is essential for optimal brain function and also our overall well-being. Dehydration can impair physical and mental performance, affecting memory, attention span, concentration, and also our reaction times. Adequate hydration supports optimal brain performance and helps stave off declines in our cognitive function. Next, we have alcohol consumption. Research underscores that excessive alcohol consumption increases dementia risk by altering our brain's structure. This leads to neuronal loss, decreased white matter integrity, and reduced brain volume, all of which impact our cognitive function. While exceeding 21 units of alcohol weekly heightens dementia risk, health guidelines recommend limiting intake to no more than 14 units per week to maintain our overall health. Beyond dementia risk, excessive alcohol consumption also heightens susceptibility to some cancers. We're talking here specifically about mouth, throat, and breast cancer, as well as stroke and heart disease. Fourth on the list of interventions is to engage in regular physical activity. Exercise enhances brain health by increasing blood flow in the brain. It reduces inflammation and enhances brain activity and also volume. These benefits contribute significantly to long-term brain health and are believed to protect against cognitive decline. Guidelines recommend at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity each and every week, or 75 minutes of high intensity exercise per week, or even a combination of both. Additionally, Studies suggest that achieving as few as 7,500 steps per day can enhance brain volume. At five is the need to foster social connections. Social isolation and loneliness are associated with heightened risks of depression and also cognitive decline. Maintaining robust social connections, such as living with others, participating in community activities, and regular interaction with family and friends has been linked to slower rates of cognitive decline. This may seem like a strange request, but if you're enjoying the video and you'd like to do me a solid, please don't give it a thumbs up. There's no need to subscribe. If you want to help, please share it. Anywhere is fine. Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, X, even Rebel. Really, anywhere is fine. Back to the video. Social engagement stimulates attention, memory, and strengthens our neural networks, thereby contributing to sustained brain health. Tied to this is the next intervention, that being continual learning. Lifelong learning contributes significantly to our brain health, reducing dementia risk by fostering neuroplasticity and cognitive resilience. Activities such as learning a new language, 
acquiring new skills such as learning to play a musical instrument and engaging in mentally stimulating tasks. Puzzles, they say, are particularly beneficial. Lifelong learning can also be tied to extending your lifespan and also your health span. Taking an interest in longevity related YouTube channels and podcasts, subscribing to newsletters and reading scientific articles will keep your brain active and also engaged. To further mitigate dementia risk, individuals should address in themselves and in others factors such as hearing loss. The use of hearing aids will help to include people and reduce the feeling of loneliness and or isolation. This is tied to fostering and maintaining regular social connections. The seventh is getting adequate quality sleep. There are numerous studies that all recommend different parameters. That said, they all seem to gravitate around getting between seven and nine hours of total sleep per night. Also having a regular bedtime, that's somewhere between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. And having consistent wake-up times without the need for an alarm, and that's even at the weekends. Further to this is the need for a sleep environment that's a few degrees cooler than the rest of your home and ensuring that it is as dark as possible. Tied to overall sleep is the need for quality deep and REM, rapid eye movement sleep. Again, there is no scientifically endorsed requirement, but getting eight hours sleep a night and having at least one hour of that being deep and one hour of that being REM is a worthy initial target. In the same way you can't accurately guess your body fat percentage, you can't really guess how much deep or REM sleep you're getting per night. Getting into bed at 10 p.m. and having the alarm wake you up at 6 a.m. does not mean you had eight hours of quality sleep. So investing in a fitness tracker, a smart watch or even a smart ring will definitely be a worthwhile investment. Even the most basic of devices can now also record your step count, another metric that you can't accurately guess. Your brain is arguably your body's most vital organ, and there is no question that it benefits immensely from early and consistent care. By implementing these lifestyle modifications at any age, but the younger you are, the better, you can substantially enhance your brain's health, ensuring its continued optimal function as you continue to age. Adopting these practices not only reduces the risk of dementia, but it also promotes overall well-being underscoring the profound impact of lifestyle choices on your long-term brain health. A healthy and active brain will contribute to a much longer and happier life. This in turn will contribute to a longer health span, more independence and less reliance on others to support you in your later years. Let me know in the comments below how you stack up against these lifestyle interventions.